Greeting Bound New Y'all, we're here with Overlord Episode 7. Y'all know what time it is. We're speeding on along until I get... Ooh, shit. Hot Sauce is Patty. Until we get to Season 4, y'all know what I'm about to say. Who's the best waifu? The Meat Tress or Alberto? Should I add y'all tier? Maybe. I might add y'all tier in this, this week. We, we'll see. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We're jumping back in with Sebus, the Eight Fingers, and from what I'm seeing, Blue Rose. Let's jump right into it. Why don't you go to the Swing day? again. Lord Stronoff. There's no point in overdoing it. Rest up. Yes, you're right, of course. Am I now? If you really took stock in my advice, I wouldn't have to waste my breath reminding you every day. <laughs> I'm Facts. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Since you won't rest, how about a practice match? With you, sir? Just recently, I was shown how callow I truly am. I'd like to train with someone who has a little resilience. Callow, you, Lord? No way. Yep. If not for the aid of a merciful and awe-inspiring caster, there's a good chance I wouldn't be standing here right now. What sort of magic caster could do that? His name is Ainz Wulgon. He is incredible. Even the Baha'u Empire's freakish wizard wouldn't stand a chance. At least, that's what I think of him. You're smart. You're sure very remember. smart. You can count on that, my lord. But are you, you sure you want to train with someone as inexperienced as me? It's not training, just practicing with swords. Whether you learn something from it or not is entirely up to you. He's about to work you. Now, give it everything you've got. Any day now. <laughs> if you won't, that's fine. I will! That sidekick. Just because the sword is all I'm carrying doesn't mean you should focus your attention on it. Change that or you'll wind up on the floor again. Right. Oh, very good, Clyde. A normal soldier would have been done after that. Princess Renera relies on me for safety. I have to become stronger than I am. Fine. When you won't. Stop waiting for me. I told you. Stop focusing on what's in my damn hand. Martial art fortress. You baited me. That's right. Here we go. Martial art slash. It's a damn shame, even if you buff yourself, you ain't on this level. You surprised me. Now I'm going to take this a bit more seriously. I hoped you would. Yeah! Face down with another man beating your ass. Is Thursday already? Myself, considering your bones are still intact. <laughs> I just bruised. That's all. A little rest and I'm good. You'll be off to guard the princess soon, right? Yes, sir. Drink this. It'll fix the worst of it. Thank you very much, my lord. You really are amazing, you know? How did you... If you're asking how I got this strong, you're out of luck. I don't have a good answer for you. <laughs> I simply have a talent for the art of combat. But, Glyme, you have that same talent. All you have to do is hone it. Think so? Yeah, but that formal training is holding you back. You can't help but focus on fighting with the sword alone. That'll Smart. Be in the heat of battle. The sword is just one means of attacking. Try to incorporate your hands, feet, knees, elbows, your whole body into your method. Fight, boy. That would he say? Don't mind fighting like a muddy adventurer. That is. <laughs> I learned a lot from you today. Thank you very much. That strike from above is one of your best abilities. However, you should think about what you're going to do next as a follow-through. Right. I will. Chief Warrior, if you'll excuse me. What is it, Vice Chief? This is bad, sir. The boy is bodyguard to the princess. If 
word got out that he fought the chief foil warrior and neither of you lost, the noble faction would have a field day. I just wanted to spar with someone who could keep me on my toes for a bit. Well, I don't think anyone saw you, but you should be more careful from now on. Thanks. His common heritage is only compounded by the fact that he's an orphan from God knows where. The noble faction's antipathy toward him is pretty strong. So, do you think you can help him improve? Sadly, he's as strong as he's ever going to be. He's what adventurers would call Captain Gold. But while he's limited by his ability, he's not limited by experience. Only time will tell. Being capped. He's level capped. Guys, if it's that Prince Anak with Marquis Raven, why would someone of the noble faction be with the Prince? Does he intend to switch to the royal faction? Very possible that Marquis is a shameless opportunist. Wouldn't shock me to see him anywhere. Who knows what he's working behind the scenes. Ah, the ever dutiful climb. On your way to visit that monster, I presume? I am. Bruh. With all due respect, Highness. Princess Renair is a kind-hearted and beautiful treasure of the kingdom. I'm not the one who called her a monster, and I will deny anyone who says otherwise. <laughs> if I'm the brother, well, yeah, I'll say I, you're a monster. The money she's wasted on commoners and the prohibition of transit tariffs. I hardly think treasure is appropriate. <laughs> Highness, I believe Princess Renair proposed the measure that abolished the slave trade within the kingdom. Surely that has merit. A rare exception, that. But what about the others, Marquis? She knows her goal is impossible, so she throws darts in the dark with no regard to who she hits. I'm certain <laughs> she wouldn't do such a thing, Lord. I'm sure you are. Would you deliver a message to that monster for me? If given the chance, our elder brother will use her as a political instrument. But if she works with me, he will graciously relieve her of her title as princess and grant her a comfortable plot of land out on the frontier. Uh, surely you jest, Lord. I'll pretend I didn't hear that for your sake. Demands forward. I thought it was quite good. As in, I don't like my sister and I'm willing to get One rid of her. Marky Raven and I are of the same mind when it comes to that girl and her policies. I dare say our joining forces will prove to be the last nail in Renée's proverbial coffin. Prince Zanuck. Don't worry about it, Marky. I'm fairly certain that monster is quite aware of our opinion of her. Hmm. Goodness, what's a commoner doing? Can y'all fight me though? I'm Big Goku. Pardon me. I was wondering where you were. Morning, Princess. Sorry I'm late. Lady Indra. Mm. Uh, oh, her. Why is she sitting in the corner? Of my team. This is Tina. My apologies. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Climb. I'm well aware of your exploits. Of all Blue Roses members, in fact, you're practically living legends. Pleasure. Thanks for looking after my fiendish boss's friend. <laughs> we were just getting to the meat of the discussion. Why don't you join us? I'm your She's so mean. Inappropriate. It makes no difference to me. My lady, I couldn't possibly. Enough with formality. Just call me Lycus. Special man with that privilege. Special? Please don't joke like that, my lady. Wait, she was joking? Uh, of course I was, sweetie. I mean, Clime is special, don't get me wrong. But it's because he's your man. I was just having fun. You're incorrigible. Now sit down and drink before <laughs> your tea gets cold. Don't worry, Tina's the only one who bites. Now, back to what we were discussing. About eight fingers, right? Where'd we leave off? I'm pretty sure I covered how we burned the fields they use for producing black dust materials. Yes. On that note, I can't thank you and Blue Rose enough. My brother and the nobles do nothing but quarrel among themselves. If they keep allowing eight fingers to secretly do business in the kingdom's shadows, it will fall into... So she knows about her brother business. Inside out. However, I don't have any influential backing or a military force at my discretion. I'm sorry. It's just, since eight fingers has ties to the noble and royal factions... I must put the burden on adventurers like Blue Rose. No need for apologies. We're friends after all. 
Tina, give her the parchment. We found this in the village where they were producing black dust. You know what it is? It's a substitution cipher. Huh? Interesting. I wonder why they left it behind. A trap? Or for some other reason? If it was a trap, why use something so hard? <laughs> Be right back. I have a hunch that cracking this code will prove fairly easy. Unbelievable. You got that right. I don't understand why she thinks she's powerless to help anyone. Of all the people I know, she's the only one I would call a genius in the unit. Well, it There's is something in my beard, and I just noticed it. But it is a list of villages and buildings. Seven of which are in the capital. Do you think they're black dust stockpiles or other critical production sites? I doubt they'd leave anything that important at a production site or written in such an easy code. I think it was bait. They tricked us? Not exactly. Mm -hmm. Eight Fingers is divided up into eight different organizations, right? Yeah, that's the rumor anyway. They're smuggling, slave trading, gambling, illegal drugs, and each one has its own chief. And I believe these are bases for the other organizations. They need our attention diverted until they can get things back on track. And they're using their own partners as bait? Dig move. Underground brothels not on the list. What is it? I'm confused. I thought that such establishments had been done away with thanks to the princess. Mostly. Mm -hmm. Abolishing the slave trade did a lot of good. But unfortunately, one Eight Fingers brothel is still active here in the capital. Tell me, Renair, what would you say to Blue Rose raiding the place and putting an end to it once and for all? If it turned up some evidence as a result, it would strike a powerful blow against the nobles who are in bed with Eight Fingers. I appreciate your willingness. But I would hate to create trouble for you and your family. On the other hand, it would be too much for Climb to handle. They're with they're mercenaries. I'm terribly sorry for so, my lack of strength, Princess. Oh, forgive me, Climb. Their families already you know what they'd be up to. Implying at all, okay? I rely on you more than anyone, Climb. I can't begin to thank you for how hard you work, even when you don't think I'm looking. Just please don't do anything too foolhardy. In fact, I order you not to. You see, if anything happened to you, I. I would. Hmm. <clears throat> In any case, while we can't ignore the brothel, we should discuss the other locations on this paper and what to do about them before they catch on. You're right. We should take advantage of the opportunity. They still haven't realized we're responsible for the village attack. However, they have got to know that this information has been leaked by now. Is it okay if we borrow Climb for a little while? Uh -oh. I'd like him to tell Gagarin and the others that we're making our move right away. Understood, Lady Hydra. What else are you talking about? My, my. Sounds like the princess is doing something reckless again. Must be tough on those blue rose ladies. I'm afraid that one of those noblemen I would hate is them. currently serving me as a maid. <laughs> hmm? Well, it doesn't seem likely that she was sent here just to spy on you, but still. Yes, I know. I'll have to tell Prime to be extra careful from now on. She knows. She knows about the maids. Welcome back, my lord. I've been waiting. That's very thoughtful of you. I trust there were no problems with your work? No, none. Well done, too, all right. I'm glad to hear it. I know it infuriates solution seeing her. Esteem lord, made with chopped potatoes. If it proves to be as tasty as your previous dishes, I'm looking forward to it. You don't mean that. I wouldn't lie to you, Torre. Are you sure you have all the ingredients for the dish? No. Sorry, I'll check on it later. We can go shopping together if you like. <laughs> He's such a kind person. That's all right. Do not worry. I understand your fear. I'm not angry. You must be terrified of going outside. But please, rest assured. I made a promise to protect you, Torre. No matter what perils may come your way, I will dash them to pieces. You have my word. Sorry. Keep moving. Forward. Silver tongued Sebus. Scared? I don't mind if you close your eyes to do it. Boy, got the riz. All I ask is you trust me to lead the way. Lord Sebus, you are being fair. You aren't. There is no way I could possibly say no to you after that. And don't worry about me. I may not 
Look, I'm strong, I assure you. As a matter of fact, there are only 41 others who are stronger than me. At least they're the only ones I'm aware of. So, is Sebus the weakest guardian? She really hate her. Are you certain we should not inform Lord Ains about her? I imagine he requires you to be in daily contact with him. Could mm -hmm. you not simply make mention of that woman the next time you report in? First off, I have an extremely high regard for her culinary ability solution. Secondly, if any humans were to see us living alone in this mansion, it might raise suspicion and spur them to scrutinize our presence. So she's Fix. part of a diversionary tactic? Yes, and if I were to seek permission from Lord Lines over a matter as simple as maintaining our cover, he's likely to stab and tell me to think for myself. Like what happened with Gokitis? I am Staff and Hamish, a constable charged with keeping the peace here in our glorious capital. What can I do, Blah, man. constable? There's an establishment. Well, his establishment, actually. Call me Succulent. A pleasure to meet you, my lady. I received a disturbing report from an eyewitness recently. Apparently, someone with a scroll bearing the seal of the magician's guild gave him an exorbitant amount of money and made off with one of his employees. Sounds like a clear violation of our slave trade prohibition. So, my lady, as someone in your house, mm. especially naughty. This is boring. Solution I is fine. Sevis deal with this touchy matter. I'm sure he can handle things from here. Good day, gentlemen. Now then, as my lady is ordered, I will listen to what you have to say and take whatever action is necessary. Well, from the circumstantial evidence alone, it is beyond a doubt that you have committed a crime. Fortunately for you and your mistress, he's a benevolent man and is willing to offer you clemency, which will naturally take the form of consolation payments and commissions. I see. And how much will that cost? 500 gold, not a copper less. That is beyond extortionate. 500 gold? No, was in a terrible state when I found that. If you were to take her away now, she might very well die from it. You don't say how tragic. In the interest of my dear employee's welfare, what would you say to loaning us the lady of your house instead while the girl recovers? How? Oh, indeed, your lost income must be compensated. Your excessive lust must be a problem for you. Oh, how dare you? Lust has nothing to do with it. I am merely upholding the law that came at the noble behest of the eminent golden princess Renair. I will not stand here and suffer your insult. Now, now, there's no reason to let your blood boil, Lord Havish. We'll return the day after tomorrow for your decision. I hope for your sake it's the right one, Sevis. We'll see, won't we? Bad people to be threatening. Bad people to be threatening. May I ask what you plan to do? I think I'll go for a short stroll and think it over. She's calling night. I'm surprised to have you contact me. Is something wrong? I think there's a chance that Lord Sevis has turned on us. You. <laughs> really? <clears throat> no kidding around. If you don't have proof of this accusation, punishment will be swift. Is there any? Yes, Lord. Solution, no, she's wrong. Just because you don't like it doesn't mean he's turning. He's doing, he's thinking for himself like Okaius couldn't do in the last arc. That's just what he's doing. He's thinking for himself. Like I say, y'all, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm out.